Got two black singlets out there. I can't tell who's who. I who's think who? Hilferty is on the bottom. That looks like a Meeker wrestler on top. Hilferty stands up here in the second period. Egan from Meeker gonna trip him backwards and they're gonna fly out of bounds. Holtzhauser gets an escape. It makes it five to three as we're down to 35 seconds to go in the match. Forehead to forehead. Hilferty still on bottom here in the second period. Stand-up attempt by Hilferty. Spiral ride by the Meeker wrestler. Okay. Trying to put Hilferty over on a hip. Hilferty still tripoded out there. Up on his knees. Bad and shot a, by Holzhauser. He's going to spin around and get the uh, almost get a reversal, but we're way short time, down to eight seconds. Ingram hanging on to an ankle. Holtzhauser trying to crank him over, but we're out of time. Ingram's going to move out for third. Colton picked by Tim Yount to be one away, and he's going to move into the third place match, and Holtzhauser's going to drop down for fifth place. Jaden Hilford is going to get an escape in his match. 42 seconds left. He's up one to zero, wrestlers on their feet. I think that does it for us on the 3A side for this round, doesn't it? Pretty much, Moreno of Eaton is out there. And he's tied up one, one to Gago, so Meade. Of course, they're well in our listing area. Jaden Hilferty, the last wrestler on the 2A side. Eaton being coached by Tony Mastari. Is Tony a four-time champion? Well, he had a bunch of them, at least three. I he thought wrestled for three, UNC. but yeah, wrestled for UNC. And Mead coached by uh, Ty Tatum. Mead wrestler in the brown. Kind of copper-colored. Murano on the bottom. There's two Muranos wrestling for Eaton. There are. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't keep track of them, but uh, heavy weight in the 220. Okay, where's Moreno? Got down here after. Uh, here it is. This is James, the senior. 39 and 12. 30, 40 and 12 coming into this match. Want to get Gagos from Meade. Gagos lost to Ayala Sheridan last night. Gagos also senior, 45 and six. Now go squirting out of bounds. Tied up 1-1. One, one. This is overtime. 16 seconds here. Kind of come into this match at the end, so I'm not sure exactly where we're at. Somebody's hand's going to go in the air in a few seconds. A little Granby roll by the Mead wrestler. He gets the escape. And now they go ear to ear. Morano backs away. Now he comes in on a shot. Gets caught in the front headlock. Time winding down. Three seconds. Two, one. Maker wrestler going to get an escape here in the third period. They tie it. He ties it up with Jaden Hilferty of Lyman. One to one. They're back on their feet. With a minute five seconds left on the clock. Sure. Tony Mastari, a three time state champion. Yeah, they found it, huh? Yeah, he says from Grand Central. Greeley I Central. I think it's supposed to be Greeley Should Central. Should be Greeley Central, yeah. Okay, there's uh, Moreno going to head down to the fifth place match. She gets knocked off two to one by it. Gago some lead, so we're. Uh, They're shooting 5A guys out there, so Jeremy's going to be a while before he gets some matches on the Fort Morgan side. Jaden Hilferty and Ligon from Meeker still tied up. 1-1. One, one. We're going to get a stalling warning on the Meeker wrestler. Jaden Hilferty in on a single leg. Tackles Ligon down, puts him right to his back with 12 seconds left. Are they going to give him the pin for that? I guess the 
ref wasn't even down on the mat, was he? No, I think he's getting tired. <laughs> Lyman will take it. Hilferty will move in for third place. So Hilferty moves into the third, fourth place match. So that pretty much does it.